So I recently received this comment asking me to make a video about crouching. I was going to reply that I already did, however as I was looking for the video in the channel, I found out that, uh, well, I didn't. So here I'm doing it. Welcome to this new video by the Gamesmith. Now in order to achieve our target in creating the perfect crouch, we have three items in our to-do list. The first is changing the size of our collider so that the character can pass through low spaces once the player clicks the crouch key. The second is changing the sprite of the character to give a visual reference to the player that he is now crouching. The third and the final item on our list is returning the character to the standing face once the player releases the crouch key. So wasting no more time, let's do it. So right now as you can see the player cannot pass to the other end of the screen as he is too big to fit through this passage. Now let's give him the ability to crouch to be able to pass through this passage. The first thing we'll need to do is to go to our player control script and we will declare a public sprite render and we'll call it sprite render followed by a public sprite which we will call standing after that a public sprite and we will call this crouching. Then we will need to reference our collider. So a public box collider 2D. And we will call that collider. Followed by a public vector 2. Which we will call standing size. followed by another public vector2 and we will call crouching size. After that, in the start function, so we'll set our sprite render to be equal to get component and that component shall be our sprite render and we will set our sprite render dot sprite to be equal to our standing sprite. After that, in the update function, we will need to set an input for our crouching state. That will be the letter C, for example. So we will type if input dot get key down and that key is our C letter. In this case, we will need to crouch. However, if input dot get key up, so this is when the player stops pressing the crouch key, and we will see it, the key code to be the same. So C, we will need to stop crouching and return back to our standing state. So in order to crouch, we will need to first of all set our sprite render dot sprite to be our crouching and we will also need to be setting our collider to its crouching size so collider dot size equal to our crouching size now in order to return back to our standing state we will need to copy those two lines of code and paste them here. However, we will need to set the sprite to be our standing sprite and the collider size to be our standing size. However, right now for the standing size, it's not declared in the script. In order to do so, we will need to set in the start function our standing size to be equal to collider dot size. Now save the script, return back to Unity. Now once we're back in Unity, you'll see that the player script now contains fields for the sprite render, standing sprite, crouching sprite, for our collider, standing size, and finally the crouching size. Now for the standing size, collider, and the sprite render, those will get their values automatically from the game. We don't need to set anything for them. All we need to do is to get our standing sprite for the standing field, 
our crouching sprite to its crouching field and now we'll need to set the collider to get the crouching size. To do so, we'll duplicate our player right now and for the duplicate, we'll need to change the collider size in the y-axis until it's smaller than the size of the passage. Then we will copy this value and then delete our duplicate of the player. Now back to our player, we will need to set the y value in the crouching size and paste the same value we've taken from our duplicate. For the x value, we will need to copy the same current x value from our current collider and paste it here. Now once you run the game, you'll see that the player cannot walk through this passage. However, when you press the C key, the player can now walk easily through this passage. Now, thank you for watching. If you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.